Hello everyone, this is Will here from Single Track Magazine. We're here at Fort William World Cup and uh, we've been checking out a lot of the racing action. You'll see riders are actually out on course today practicing. Um, but we're going to take you through something else. This is brand new XTR from Shimano. So this was released only a week ago, uh, the Novomesto uh, Cross Country World Cup round. Um, this is the first time we've got our hands uh, our, our grubby hands on some of the new components. So we're going to give you a bit of a closer look. We've got two bikes set up here, uh, one with the XTR race group set. We've also got uh, the Enduro group set on the left-hand side here. So uh, we'll come in and I'll, I'll give you a bit of a look at this, uh, this race group set here. So the big news, of course, uh, in case you've been living under a rock the past week, Shimano has gone 12-speed with new XTR. So we have a 12-speed cassette here. Look at this guy. So uh, this is the smaller cassette option. There are going to be uh, actually three cassette options. This is the smaller option. It's 10 to 45 tooth. So 12 speed, um, 10 tooth on the smallest, 45 on the biggest. So a nice tight cluster. Um, this is going to be probably more suitable for racers, whether that's enduro or cross country race, um, who might not need as big of a range, um, but perhaps want that uh, nice smooth kind of gear changes all the way through and less interruption to their cadence as well. You can see we've got the uh, new 12 speed rear derailleur on here as well. Big chunky thing, carbon fiber jockey wheel cage here, bigger pulleys. So those have actually increased in size. Um, and uh, this is a nice short cage option. There will be a longer cage option because Shimano will still be offering two by options with XTR and there is a long cage version if you're going to run a double on the front. Uh, speaking of the front, let's have a look at this brand new crank set. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, XTR hollow aluminium crank set, still using um, a hollow steel 24 mil spindle, so no BB30, no PF30. Um, business here. This is a standard 24 mil steel spindle. It's gone to a spider, um, sorry, it's ditched the spider um, design of the last XTR crank set. It's gone to a direct mount chain ring. So this has helped save a bit of weight. Uh, it also allows this crank set to be changed between one by and two by setups. So very, very neat there. We've also got, well, you're down here, Andy, actually, I'll show you these uh, new XTR race pedals. Um, these are really nice. You can see they've been pared down to the absolute minimum possible. Still an SPD compatible pedal um, and based on the, the, the current XTR race pedal, but basically just chiseled away for to reduce weight. They're a little bit thinner as well. Um, so a little bit uh, shorter stack height on that one. We'll go up to the, uh, the cockpit perhaps up here. So we've got brand new XTR brake levers. Um, these are lighter. You'll notice that the clamp for the brake lever is now in the middle of the brake lever, whereas before it was on the end. Uh, now, what they've, the reason they've done this is they've actually, if you get in here, you can see there's a brace for the brake lever. So as you're tugging on that lever, when you're really on the anchors, pushing really, really hard, the brake lever is braced against the handlebar. It makes for a stiffer structure, um, means there's less flex through the lever body when you're really hammering on the, uh, on the brake levers. So very nice. These are the race levers. So you've got carbon fiber lever blade. They're pared down to the absolute bare minimum possible. So there's no adjusters or, um, or, or any sort of funky extra. There's no servo wave system in here. It's been pared down to the absolute bare minimum. Um, as far as the other end of the brakes, I'll just pull this front wheel out here so you can get a closer look at that new brake caliper down the bottom. This is the two piston brake caliper. Shimano will be offering two and four piston brake calipers um, with the new XTR group set. This is the lighter race model. So two piston, um, smaller brake pads. These are the same brake pads you'll find in a Durace or Ultegra road disc caliper. Um, and so if you're a cross country racer, marathon racer, you want the lightest possible setup. Um, and you're not as concerned about raw brute power, um, then that's the setup you're gonna want. So uh, that's the XTR race group set. We'll have a bit of a look at the enduro group set. This is likely gonna be the one that most people, I think uh, most British mountain bikers will be very excited about because let's have a look at the centerpiece. This huge cassette, this is also 12 speed, but this starts at 10 tooth and goes all the way up to 51. So uh, how do you like that? There's your 12 speed 10 to 51 cassette. Um, now, like the other XTR cassette, the 10 to 45, to get that 10 tooth sprocket, Shimano's had to create its own new free hub body standard. Yes, I can hear the groans from, uh, from the internet. Um, it's very similar in terms of compared to the existing Shimano free hub body. It's just a bit smaller in diameter. Uh, and the idea is to allow that 10 tooth cog to go on there. The splines are different as well. It's called a micro spline free hub. Um, the splines are different and it's designed to take, as you can probably tell with that huge 51 tooth sprocket on the back of that cassette. 
that's going to encounter some pretty serious loads, some pretty high torque um, when you're climbing. Um, you know, it'll enable you to climb up some pretty steep stuff. So you can imagine there's a lot of force going to be going through this and therefore the free hub body. Um, so the splines have been designed to, uh, to accommodate that extra force there. Now that free hub body right now, the micro spline system, it is a design owned by Shimano. Um, at the moment, as far as we're aware, DT Swiss is the only company um, that is go going to be licensing that design so that they'll be able to make compatible free hub bodies. As to other brands coming on board, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, One of the other features inside this rear hub is a silent free hub mechanism. So Shimano, drawing on uh, the 1980s science fiction uh, movies, has uh, brought out a design called Silence, S-C-Y-L-Y-N-C-E, -Y -Y -E, I think. Oh, it says it on the back of that one anyway. <laughs> Correct me on that if I'm wrong. Um, but basically, when you coast on this bike, I'm just gonna lift up the rear wheel and show you. So it's dead silent. Um, it's basically a ratchet system, not, not dissimilar to a DT Swiss Star ratchet. Um, so it's, it's completely different to an existing pull, spring and pull system um, in other brands um, and Shimano's previous hub designs. Um, but basically the, the clutch actually disengages when you're, when you're freewheeling, which is why it's dead quiet. It's silent and there's very little, if any, drag when you're coasting. Uh, then when you engage, or when you pedal, sorry, the clutch engages and that's where you get your... Uh, your drive from. So very, very clever design. Silence rear hub on the back of the XTR. Brand new micro spline rear hub. Uh, we also have the same brand new XTR cranks here. Again, this is the uh, direct mount chain ring here. We've got multiple options, uh, 30 tooth up to 38, I believe. New uh, chain ring design. So this is um, Shimano's own chain ring design. So you, ideally, you don't need to run these with a chain guide. Um, though Shimano is making a lightweight upper chain guide. We don't have one here to show you, um, but they are making a lightweight chain guide for racers who just want that extra security. Um, but this chain here, it's, um, it's, it's sort of a narrow wide design, essentially, thick, thin, tooth, tooth profile. It's really hard to show in video, but on the, on, the wide ring, on the wide teeth here, there's an extra chamfered edge. It's really difficult to make out, um, but that actually butts up against or, or sort of nestles in with the roller um, and the outer link in the chain. So it creates a really smooth, full contact design. Uh, we're told this reduces noise and, uh, and also aids chain retention. So nice little detail there. Right, so we were talking about the cranks before. Um, there is a new design for the way that these mount onto the bike. Um, so these still run a 24 mil steel spindle all the way through, but gone are the pinch bolts um, of the previous uh, Holotech design. Now we've got one big bolt in here and that holds the non-drive crank arm to the axle. And we have this guy here, this is a preload collar. So you can actually turn this, and this is on a, on a thread, which is part of the crank arm, and that will actually put preload on the bearings or reduce preload off the bearings. So you can use that uh, basically as the, the bottom bracket beds in or needs adjusting, you can use this preload ring to do that. So uh, very nice indeed. Uh, we'll move up to the cockpit here. I wanna show you this, cause this is quite neat. If you come around this side actually, Andy, this is the 12 speed trigger shifter here. So we've got two paddles here. The design is, uh, the actuation is exactly the same as you'll find on existing Shimano shifters. But check this out, this is a little rubber paddle uh, texture here. So that piece there, that's rubber. So you've got a nice uh, soft textured surface there for your thumb on both the, uh, the up shifter and the, the down shifter. Um, this is 12 speed. Um, obviously, you've got the new iSpec EV standard, so you've got plenty of lateral adjustment for the shifter, and it also adjusts on a uh, plenty of angular rotation as well um, to mount the shifter to the same uh, bracket as the brake lever. So uh, very neatly integrated there. Uh, the trail brake levers, we've got a few difference here, differences here. First and foremost, we've got servo wave inside, so there's a roller cam system in here, and that's designed to increase um, pad movement in that initial part as soon as you tug on the brake lever you get the pads closing in on the, the disc uh, rotor very quickly um, and then tapering off slightly to help improve modulation through the stroke. Uh, we do have free stroke adjustment and tool free reach adjustment um, so loads of adjustability in the trail brake um, and these are designed to run with four piston brake calipers. So this is brand new for XTR. Uh, we have seen this in the XT level and now we've got it at the XTR level as well. Four pistons in there. Um, those use the same style 
or the same shape of brake pad as the existing Saint and Z brake calipers. Uh, the piston diameters are exactly the same as the Saint and Z brake calipers, so uh, we're told there's a 20% increase in power over the, the two piston, uh, existing two piston XTR and XT brakes. Um, there's also some fancy new finned brake pads in there too. And I guess the last thing we'll show you on this bike here uh, is down here at the cranks. Uh, we did skip over this before. This is the new trail pedal. So we saw the XTR race pedal on the other bike. This is the XTR trail pedal. Again, slim down over the, uh, the, the previous XTR trail pedal. We've got more textured panels on the back side of the cage here. These are all machined in, beautifully machined. That's designed to give you more traction on the back of your shoe when you're clipped in. So you've still got that cage all the way around, but just more platform. So the idea being when you're running uh, a softer kind of trail shoe with a rubber sole, that you get more contact on here, more stability, less kind of, uh, less kind of wiggle through your shoe, um, especially left to right. So, uh, so that is the XTR trail pedal. Very nice, a little bit slimmer compared to the, uh, the current version. So there you go, that's a bit of a look at the new XTR group set from Shimano. We've had a bit of a look at the race group set and the enduro group set. Uh, these are both set up as one by, as I said, Shimano will be offering two by systems as well. Uh, if you want to see more information about the XTR group set, jump on singletrackworld.com for more information. Um, otherwise, we'll get back to uh, the Fort William World Cup. And we hope you're enjoying the coverage. Thanks, guys. Do root.